One thing about Unibody Fitness NYC and, and a Second Youth Foundation, we invest in people. Body Fitness NYC, where we provide personal one-on-one -on -one personal training, small group training, group classes. We have a running team. Um, once a month, where a trainer will take you on a trail, which is pretty cool. I built up a team down in the Union Square area where we were putting in anywhere between 500 to 600 hours every 30 days around the clock, year after year after year. And, you know, it, it, it was a lot of work and it was very uh, rewarding, but I wanted more. And I didn't want more for myself because I did a ton of sessions and built a great following, but I wanted more for my team. I wanted more for my, my, my community. I wanted more of an experience for the people that we were servicing. What makes Unibody Fitness the best is multiple things. One, there's no slacking. There's no slacking. Our, our whole team, everyone is in shape. Everyone is about this. Everyone has this passion. That's why, that's how we recruit people. When we, when we go out and part of our interviewing process is to sift out who is actually really about it, who really breathes this, who really feels this. And we, we screen them. It's not, it's not a, okay, we go pick somebody up in one day. We put them through a couple of weeks of interviewing, of training. And then we say, okay, you know what, this person, this person. And that's the difference. The difference is how we recruit our people. That's what makes us better, is because of how much heart is into it. We're training people who really breathe this. That is one reason why I like Unibody so much and why I do find it to be such an important part of my life now, is because I feel like I'm working out with a family. It's a family. It's 100% family. We eat together. We hang out together. We go on trips together, we go, we do everything, we do, we are like brothers. We're literally like brothers, we talk to each other all the time. So we work, of course we work out together, you know, because who gonna keep up, you know what I'm saying? You gotta have somebody to keep up. We do as much as we can to infuse ourselves within the community because this is where we're from. We're all from the community. And being that now that we're from the community and we have something now that's valuable, to all the people from that community, we can give it back to them and help them come up. Because the main thing is unibody, one body. And what we want to do is make everyone come up together because we are all one people. That's the main name of unibody. That's what it means, unibody. A second you foundation is basically your second chance at life, you know? Um, as for myself, made plenty of mistakes, um, spent 120 months in federal prison, but came home extremely motivated, dedicated to this industry and, and, and with time spiraled into me wanting to help those like myself that come from disadvantaged neighborhoods and backgrounds where you know, finding help, finding support is, is, is pretty difficult. We do employment workshops at both federal halfway houses in New York City. So um, once a week, we go to the Brooklyn Federal Halfway House as well as the Bronx Federal Halfway House. We hold employment seminars for those interested in the fitness industry. Upon uh, enrollment 
after your interview is done, you go through a six week to 90 day training program. And then once completed, we provide job placement. To date, we've employed over 60 men as fitness instructors and trainers throughout health clubs and boutique studios in New York City. We also joined forces and volunteer now, which we're super excited about, CASES, which is a nonprofit organization that's affiliated with the Supreme Court. We're very proud of that. Uh, CASES is a nonprofit organization that is dedicated to um, providing alternative sentencing for troubled youth from the ages of 16 to 24 years old. The team and I show up to volunteer, um, and we have a mentoring session, which is our first week, our second week. It's a four-week curriculum. The second week is um, all about basic nutrition. The third week is geared towards integrated stretching and flexibility and importance of that. And our fourth week is an actual workout. Um, per quarter, moving forward, we plan to expand the program and have guest speakers quarterly, entrepreneurs, working class people that we train and that are part of our community that will come up to be guest speakers for these kids. We're very excited, motivated, and it's a passion of ours. Um, there's not one person that is a part of this movement that isn't passionate about helping others. That's one of the main criteria and one of the main attributes that we look for in a person when interviewing them or recruiting them to be a part of this team and this family and this organization. I, I, when I grew up, I didn't really have too many people to talk to. And most, a and, and majority of people from my background and my neighborhood and other neighborhoods throughout the five boroughs of New York City, they go, they suffer from the same problem. Not enough support. If you don't have anyone to talk to, anyone to guide, any guidance, then, you know, it, you know, you can be distracted. You can be led off course. I mean, you know, I'm born and raised in the old Williamsburg, Brooklyn, you know. Um, back in the days, it was just full of factories um, and, 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 and poor families. Back in the days, now it looks like Manhattan. But back then, you know, it was a sense of community. Everybody knew each other. Everybody knew each other's family. Everybody shared food. It was a great sense of community, and, and, and that's what I'm connected to, and that's what I'm trying to bring back. You know, when you believe in the cause and you have, like, the passion, the passion that he has for one, the passion, the energy, and, you know, what he believes in trying to accomplish, then that moves people. You know, when you have that, you, you get moved automatically. You just you can't help it. One of the things that I gained is the ability to give back and help these guys is coming out of prison, you know, coming out of prison, nervous, anxious, uh, how many years passed, no, no, you know, like what opportunities out there. Cause a lot of people, even myself included, you know, when I was coming, I was just like, you know, what am I gonna do? What's going on? Granted, you know, good thing that I did get my personal training certification while, you know, I was incarcerated, good thing I did, but some people don't know what they're doing. And you know, the court, that causes a lot of anxiety when you have support and you have people, because a lot of guys don't have family. A lot of people don't have family. You know, a lot of people have, you know, they don't have. So when you have, you know, uh, an organization like Unibody Fitness, and this is what we're saying, like, listen, because one of the most vital things is economic, uh, you know, stability. In order to function in this society, you need money. And that's what causes a lot of, uh, you know, anxiety and things like that. So coming out, one of the things I said for sure is because since I was in that position, it was like, um, I want to be able to alleviate the stresses and pressures 
that other people feel that was in the same position as me, the same shoes, because I know what they're going through. And anything that I can do, we can do as a team to help, that would be phenomenal. So that's like the biggest, that's like one of the biggest things that I would say that um, I'm definitely getting back out of this. You know, you can take, 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 take all day, but when you actually give and give people back something, you know, if, if you've never done it before, you'll see what kind of a difference, you know, what it feels like. What are you trying to do for your community? What are you trying to do to help others? It's not only about taking. What are you doing to give back? You know, so I was explaining to him, this is what we're about. 